welcome to my channel shine star collections and today i have my ace albums Woo! so ace is done with military service and they have put out an album as a four piece um i was kind of bummed that uh yu chang was not in the comeback but I kind of have understanding, you know, sometimes people, you know, you'll be like, you know, all mad about things and people will actually say something at worth on Twitter. <laughs> and so somebody did come up with a good point. So I'll go over that in a second. Um, there is three versions. I only bought two. These are kind of pricey. I have to admit, um, I usually albums at K-pop Nara around, you know, you see somewhere between 24 25 27 dollars 28 or whatever these were 30 dollars on the head <laughs> so i mean i know it's like oh it's a couple bucks i was just like but why why are you up charging on the on these um they usually just kind of upcharge on like something like a signed album, but for whatever reason, these were 30, and I was just like, no, I just buy two for right now. And then I bought the ones with the stylings I really liked. Um, the other styling I think is cute, but I'm feeling like I might just grab that version on Neokio if I really want to get it. But um, so I got these, the plastic is off. Um, I have not seen anything, I just took the plastic off so that I could save time um which version are we going to go through let's go through this version i think this is what is my favorite you know i really like this version too the suit looks way too big on donkin but that's another story <laughs> so let's set off to the side so here is the book here is the front and here is the back um and up there is the side there. So Ace Wander in Confusion. Okay, so oh, I think it's a push out. Uh, yeah, it's, it's bulky, so I feel like that there is pre-orders and things in here. There's lots of stuff. Oh, oh my God, I think I saw a card. Oh no, okay, hold on. Okay, I did see a card, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, all right, the Ace album, so I'm a big fan of this album. I really, um, even though it's pretty much three songs and two songs are in English, um, but I really loved Effortless when they released it. Um, if you hear footsteps, I am so sorry. Those are my neighbors. Because um, my office is like right under the staircase, so I hear everybody's footsteps going upstairs. So if you hear that, I am so sorry. Um, yeah, Effortless, when they did, like, the pre-release of Effortless, um, oh my god, just, I missed their voices, just the harmonies, the voices of these guys, um, hearing them all together again, just, you know, and of course, I miss Yi Chan, but, I mean, the four of them, just, wow, 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 wow. So yeah, I just loved everything about this album. Um, I haven't watched the content. I keep kind of forgetting that they had like content to go on the little pet flicks thing. Um, I've been meaning to watch and just haven't. But this album itself is just so good. I just, that's it. Their voices, um, the harmonies on all the songs. Effortless was the pre-release. And then uh, My Girl, which is the title track. Um, just such a feel-good song. It's like, 
can I compare it to? It's kind of like, you know, just that, like, it sounds kind of retro, old school, um, 70s, 80s sound. Um, kind of R&B um, sound. So, it kind of reminds me of, not, not sounds like, but in the vein of, like, Eternal Sunshine from 80s. That's what it sounds like. I just really loved it. Just loved it. Um, also, the concept of the MV, them um, using choice um, in their MV to dance was so cool. Um, the video was fun. Um, the styling, just, I just really love it. Um, and what I want to say is, at first, I thought that they kind of rushed it because I was like, well, Yu Chan's like coming out of the military like right now. Why are you rushing an album? But someone on Twitter mentioned that because Don Hyun is part of that MNET show, um, the MNET survival show to build the vocal group build up, which I have not watched. I have been trying to stay away from spoilers and everything on Twitter. <laughs> it's very hard. Um, because everything that comes through my feed, I just like it and keep scrolling. Um, because I just want to binge watch it. I don't want to, I want to support this dude, you know, full on. But I want to do it like after the show is over. I think that the last final show is going to be this Friday, I guess. So, um, after this week, I will go on ahead and watch it. I'm going to try to really avoid spoilers. Um, you know, so I don't have to see who won the show, whatever. But, um, you know, Donnie is just such, he is such a talent. All the marvel just Donnie is just, ah! He is an amazing talent. You know, his voice is just one of a kind. He has such a beautiful voice. And he's an amazing vocalist. And I'm just so just, wow. Just love all of them. But just especially this guy. Um, while they were in military, Junie's actually my, was my top bias. But it kind of switched. I think like when they did, um... Not Changer. Um, the album with the mermaid concept. Or merman concept. I can't remember which one it is right now. It's feeling me. But I think that's when... Like... I kind of switched biases. And Don Hyun became my... My main bias. And Junie is my bias record. So it kind of flipped for me. <laughs> um, yeah... I love all of them, and I'm just so glad the Ace is back. They are done with military, and they are able to grace us with their presence. They are so underrated, so, so underrated. And I hope that because of Build Up and because, did I even finish my point? Somebody said, if I did, I apologize for repeating myself. Somebody said because of build up is the reason why they think that is the reason why they kind of rushed this album. Okay, so um, because I was thinking like, yeah, Yu Chan should have been a part of it. They could have waited, blah blah blah. But somebody said that they probably think that Beat wanted to put out this album in a hurry to try to um, capitalize on the um on the popularity that Duncan might grab and it will help Ace out also. So that was a good point. So I was like, okay, fine. That, that's a good point. Um, I guess they're going to do a comeback. I don't know if they're going to do it before they go on tour or not. Um, but they, uh, they're supposed to do like an OT5 comeback at some point. Here's BK, talented BK, one of the best main dancers around, and you cannot tell me otherwise, he is just, they're all amazing, all rounders, um, but this dude is like, you know, wow, such a great dancer and performer, 
and speaking of Ace Tour, I am going to see Ace. I got the tickets to see Ace. Um, they're not coming to Chicago, but they're going to Wisconsin. So um, I am going to go see them in Wisconsin. So, um, okay, right. It's four songs and then three of them are in English. Okay, my bad. I do love Angel. It's beautiful. FaceTime is fun. I really like it. Um, it's cute. But I love the title track. Just love, love, love. Ooh, Judy. Cutie. Yeah, I'm just so glad that Ace is back. Um, I don't know. Maybe I haven't talked about Ace enough on my channel. But I mean, you're in military, so... Um, but now that they're out of the military, you will be seeing a lot of Ace. Um, I have decided to collect Ace. Um, but I'm only going to collect my top two. So that's going to be Dong, uh, Donghyun and Junie. Um, I already have some started, but they're going to get their own binder and everything. Probably just an A5. Um, I'm not going to go crazy. Um... Ace is kind of one of those groups that's kind of hard to find um, as far as cars are concerned. So I'm just going to try to find what I can for the both of them. Um, I do have a nice bit started and everything, but um, yeah, I decided I am going to collect them because I they're one of my old groups. And I really do love them. Like, they put out no-skip albums. Like, every Ace album is amazing. So, I was like, what am I doing? I need to collect Ace. <laughs> and just collect my top two. And, um, you know, like I said, I won't go crazy with it or whatever. I'll just pick up what I can get. Um, so, I'm going to start looking on, you know, Neokio and all that and see what I can find. Um. I did actually start looking on the Okio just to see, you know, what kind of, you know, variety they had of Ace cards, and it's it's kind of scarce. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, now that they're back out of military and you know they're starting to get more recognition because of build up and because people are are seeing them on music shows, like I saw basically almost all their performances for my girl and hopefully um massively and globally they're starting to get some recognition wow king wow that's um Somebody was saying how fun it is to see Ace actually do challenges <laughs> with um, other idols. And it is because they because they have been so underrated this whole time. They really haven't. They really didn't do a whole lot of challenge pre-military. But now that they're back and they started performing at music shows, they were doing performances with other idols. And it was just so fun to see. And I'm just... So, so proud of these guys, and I'm so glad that they're back, because I really, really love them. Like, you know, I kind of, you know, watched when they started, you know, coming back out of military, as it was, it was, what was it, it was, WoW was first? I want to say WoW was first, and then it was Donghyun, then Junie, then BK, then Yu Chan was last. And, um, I watched a little bit of their OT5, um, YouTube live. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't translated or anything. I wish that somebody, the fandom, would start translating Ace. Please, start translating Ace lives. <laughs> um, but that would have been a fun thing to see. But they were just, <laughs> there were so many parts that were so chaotic and, it was so much fun just to see all five of them back together and so now we're just waiting for the brilliance of I'm ready for Ace to take over and just 
you know, show these other groups that, like, they... A lot of groups really feel in comparison to Ace as far as talent, as far as um, just pure, like, pure talent vocally and, like, performance-wise. Um, Ace is top tier. Ace is definitely top tier. And if you haven't listened to Ace, if you haven't listened, you know, start with this album. This album is actually a good start, I think, for people who haven't listened to Ace. Um, to listen to Effortless and My Girl and Angel and, you know, um, FaceTime. I mean, they are just amazing, amazing vocalists, all of them. So talented. And they've never really put emphasis on winning music shows so they and they should they should have had a few wins under the belt but because of being from a small company they've never been given that recognition that they deserve and so i hope that now that they're done with military and they could finally um really go all out and i'm glad that like B is seeing that and try to take advantage of the moment with them. Um, I really do think that since, hopefully since they're, you know, not touring until June, then maybe they will just do that OT5 comeback. Maybe it was in the works and they just need to do this to kind of get people reacclimated. And then again, like the person said, taking advantage of um, Don, uh, Don Hyun's time on um, build up so they just deserve so much more love please give them a chance <laughs> please give them a chance listen to this album look at some of their videos um, their covers oh their covers of oh my god what's that one that they did um song is playing in my head i don't remember whose song it is but it's pretty popular pretty popular you know western pop song that they did the cover of and oh my god it's um i don't remember what it is i'll put it in the <laughs> put it in the, the edits definitely is it's like playing in my head and i just can't remember what song it is i'm definitely not gonna sing it for you definitely not <laughs> i am not not a singer Oh, he's so cute. Also, the um, oh, such a cutie. The challenges that they did. Oh my God, what was it when the four of them before, like right before Yu Chan got out, and they did the um, SB nineteen Hento challenge. Oh my God, <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> they did i think they did two they did one that was kind of like um they did the like the the one and then they did another one where um it's the one where you know some of them will be like the idols do that one of them is like you know really energetic and then as you go to the other idols the energy goes down i think they did that too i want to say for the same thing Yeah, I've been watching a lot of their stuff. I just haven't watched the whole Petflix thing. Um, but I will. I adore them. Ah! So, yeah. I'm just so glad they, you know, managed to get back together after military. And they're ready, they're ready to take over, I think. Because I think I saw, like, some clips of them on, um... I guess from Weavers, I guess, or whatever. Or was it, it might have been Instagram blog, because they all have their little Instagrams too. Um, but they were talking about actually going for Billboard this time. And um, I don't remember if they mentioned a music show win or not. They might have, but I remember hearing Billboard and Grammys. That's what I remember hearing. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, I'm just so glad that they're back. I'm just elated because they, like I said, they're so talented and deserve, deserve more fans. This is so cool. I'm so glad to have a new Ace album to look at. Cuties. Yeah, this is this is kind of the concept that was on the front of the other album. So um, I don't know how different the albums are between each other, but we'll just have to see when we look at the other album. So yeah, here was Effortless. So this was their first track back. It was like the pre-release. It was so good. I was so happy to see them. Um, showing off the vocals same thing with my girl my girl is just so cute it's it's so like I said like all old style R&B retro R&B um, Angel beautiful track absolutely beautiful with every track you can hear how vocally talented they are and FaceTime cute track and then Effortless, My Girl, and Angel are all in English. So, yeah. There we go with the first version. Oh, and he's still have you trying, and you trying in here. Yay. Even though he's not part of the comeback, it's okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, here's the CD. This is, this is so cute. That's gorgeous. Let's put... It's like you... I'm not going to do anything with these. I think I'll probably leave them whole. But, like, they used to be punch-outs. And you... Um, you're able to dress the doll. So it's like paper dolls. That is so cool. Is that like for all of them? Oh my god, yes it is. There's Wow. So you can put their jackets on. That's really cool. And I guess the little cloud up there is for them to, um, so what you want them to say, I guess. Oh no, this is so cute. <laughs> this is, making sure it don't stick together. It's Tanya. I, I'm sorry. It sounds like I'm saying Dong Hyun, probably from Very Very, who is in military. Dong Hyun from Ace. Dong Hyun. Here's Junie. So that is so cool. Okay. And then we have some other things here. Ooh, a lot of things that B gave us. Look at this. So there's a four cut of wow. Oh, they're gonna need. I will still do. I think I will do an A4. I'm gonna get a. Um, I'm just gonna get a composition book um, binder um, and do that. And I'll probably just use like my Meow Cafe pages because I love my Meow Cafe um, or Mondo Deco pages. Oh, these are stickers. Okay, yeah. Stickers. And then... The secret message? Hmm. So cute. Okay. And then... More stickers. I don't usually break apart the stickers, but maybe if they're, if they're whole or the same in the other version, I might use them for my cover for um, my ace. Okay, so what do we have? I saw one. So, but let's see what we got. Oh, it's a group card. Yay. So what's the four of them? Down here with his little doggy. And I saw this one. It's BK. So, yeah. Okay, so let's move this all out the way. And let me try not to look at the pulls this time. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, success. I didn't see anything. I just wonder. It looks like they are that the paper dolls are in here too. But let's see. So there's the front of that. His pants look huge. <laughs> Looks like he's being swallowed in this uh, these suit pants. Now, let's see. I hope most of that was in frame. Let's see what's going on with this one. Okay. Let's see if it's exactly the same. I hope not. So here is the office worker concept. Oh no, good. It's it's not the same. Awesome. So cute. So of course the MV is hilarious. Um oh they are so cute. Look at Juni. I'm just a really big fan of theirs, like I said, and I'm just really glad they're finally getting a little recognition and being noticed um, by people in Korea, um, especially because um, we all know that's important, especially to idols, that they get noticed at home. But um, I hope that this tour will also bring them some, you know, they are... I mean, you're not huge globally, but they, you know, they did, you know, I guess fan meets or tours. They did a couple of, you know, shows before they got into the military. So people do know them globally. And if I were to guess, I would say that they probably do have a bigger global um, fan base than um, in Korea. But, um not huge I just people just need to know Ace like Ace is just so so great and they're just one of those groups that just doesn't get the recognition you know people always say oh well you know this generation of groups doesn't know how to sing they don't you know just pay too much and pay too much attention to choreo and don't know how to sing and you know, they wonder about a group's visuals and all that. And I'm like, you have all that in Ace right here. Right here. Like, they are amazing in everything. I'm trying not to repeat myself. <laughs> I could just talk all day about how great they are. They just are so... Just everything about Ace is fantastic. Okay, this part is kind of insane because it's the, um, like the profiles or whatever. Johnny! Johnny! same pictures as it was in the front. It's a little bit different from the beginning and then um, the pictures are the same for um, the ones we saw before. Kim you Wow. King Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know, I might, like I said, I really want to focus on Junie and, um, and Dongyun, but, um, I don't mind keeping cards from the other three, um, like I said, unless it's like a trade or whatever, um, but I'm not going to try to actively collect OT5, let's just put it that way, I just want to kind of pick up the cards I want for all of them, um, if possible, but mostly with Don Don Hoon and um and Junie. So it's a little different, not really, but yeah, so it might not be 
it might not be necessary to get the other version because these are kind of similar. Uh, it's just different covers, but it's okay because I I don't mind supporting them. You know, it's they're one of my alts, like I said, so I don't mind supporting them. And buying an additional copy that looks a lot like the first one I looked like. <laughs> support them. So like I said, just so happy that they're back. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, fifth gen groups that are coming out right now. I actually did find a new fifth gen group I want to follow. <laughs> Other than the ones I already follow, but I'm not going to collect them. Not going to do it. I just want to kind of follow their music because I kind of liked what I heard. And, um, and I was like, well, maybe but i don't want to collect them because i already collect two fifth gens i collect even and well three excuse me <laughs> three fifth gens i collect psychers and i collect uh even and one packed and i kind of want to keep it that way but i kind of like the new group nowadays I don't think they formally debuted yet. I just saw a little clip of theirs and I kind of liked it. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to collect. I just want to like kind of pay attention. So, um, but yeah, I'm sorry. Back to Ace, back to Ace, but it's not, not much more I could say. I mean, I haven't already said just stay in Ace, stay in Ace. That's all I gotta say. Stay in Ace. Listen to them, listen to their music, go back and listen to some of their covers, um, you know, um, has some of their content, um, they are quite chaotic, um, they are still chaotic even after enlistment, um, they're just fun guys, um, oh, there's one other cover that I have to, that I know that I remember very well. And it was the cover they did for KCON during a lockdown. I want to say that was 20... I don't know if it was 2020 or 2021. But Ace did a cover of Obsession by EXO. Oh my God. Go watch that. <laughs> Go watch that. That is so good. The cover of EXO. They had... I only did like two and a half minutes of the song, but they embodied everything. They did it in their own style, but like, you know, they had the outfits down, the makeup, the hair. Oh my God. They just did so amazing. Just, oh, they were incredible. So go watch that. Um, they really did a great job with the EXO cover. And like I said, they've done other covers, you know, just you know, watch, go down the line, you know, and just look up Ace, you know, A, A period C, E, and caps, and it will just bring up a whole bunch of stuff. I think my favorite, I said they are no skips, apparently. I don't think, there's not an Ace song that I can think of that I didn't like, honestly. Um, I think my favorite might be... Between Undercover and Favorite Boys, like, those are my favorites, I think. Um, Undercover, oh my god, Undercover was amazing. But I remember how I just, you know, during the main parts of the pandemic and how I found Ace. And I want to say, I want to say I found Ace. I don't remember how exactly I found Ace, but it was... I want to say it was a cover that got me into Ace 2, I want to say. Um, I just don't remember which one it is. But it wasn't It wasn't the Obsession covers. I was, I was into Ace before that. So it was probably 2021, most likely. Because 2020 is when I just first started getting into AT. So it was definitely either 2021, maybe even 2022. Um, they started going into military. I want to say WoW went in in August... 
it wasn't 20 yeah no it wasn't 2023 so it had to be 2022 I think wow went in around like August or September 2022 and then Dong Hyun went in right after him and then Juni and then BK yeah but they're all out now so yeah they are just so fantastic please give Ace a listen and if you have listened to the Ace album let me know your thoughts you know what you think of the Ace album um you know what's your favorite title what's your favorite track rather um I want to say my tr my favorite is still um my girl oh okay it's a different outfit okay so this is like the again paper dolls so now it's the um office worker paper doll <laughs> As you can dress them up and just put their jackets on them or leave them off. I'm just going to leave it intact. I'm not going to cut it out or anything. Tong Hoon with his two big pants. <laughs> and then Junie. There we go. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got the a secret message thing and we got the last one and then we got more stickers so yeah it's the same things I might use those stickers for um oh yeah it's a different postcard though awesome <laughs> and then let's see here's the four cut of BK so I might just give them, um, yeah, I might give them an A4 because these things I don't think are going to fit an A5. I'm going to see. I'm going to test out one of my A5s because I do have like a single pocket um, for an, a, an A5. So I'm going to see if it fits. If it doesn't, they're going to go in A4. Look at all oh, these are different and I like them. <laughs> okay I like those a lot and here are our two cards so I don't know if we have another group card or whatever but let's see it's wow yay love it love wow and then let's see who else we got ah it's my bias it's my bias it's not young Great, awesome. Okay, so it was just one group card. And so, but I did see my pre-orders because they let me pick my pre-orders. So I do have them right here. My top two biases and they're hollow. And Junie with this wet hair look, I absolutely love. Let me take them out for you. I'm just gonna put them back in probably gonna put them in clear sleeves I think so cute so I'm gonna see I might just do try to do the uh, get the other two for the hollows at least I don't know oh it's make star okay these should be kind of easy to find hopefully the make star um, pre-order benefits so I'm gonna try to grab Wow and um, BK and um, I don't know. I kind of really want to put them in an A4. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> A4 sounds better to me. Or excuse me, A5 sounds better than A4 to me. Because since I'm really only collecting um, Dong Hyun, Dong Hyun and Juni, um, I kind of want to do the A4. A5 rather than A4. But we'll see what happens. Okay, let me get all my pulls together and then get a nice ending shot for this video. Okay, there is my ending shot. Thank you so much for looking at my Ace unboxing. <laughs> um, it's kind of late, but everything's late. Um, 
because I, I kind of have gotten used to now just walking into K-pop NAR and buying things. So every unboxing is going to be late and depending on um, how late I get it um, or depending on how much I really like the particular artist, um, you know, except for 80s, of course. Um, maybe a couple of others. They are going to be later than, you know, the actual release. But thank you anyway if you watch this unboxing. Stan Ace. Stan Ace. Um, if you're an Ace fan already, let me know your thoughts about this album. Um, don't tell me about Build Up. I want to know. <laughs> because again, I'm trying to save, um, you know, just watching Build Up. Um, I'm just going to binge watch it all in one go. And um, just see the brilliance of Jong Hoon and Jay and all of them. So, um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this album. Are you excited about the Ace Tour? Are you going to see Ace? Uh, let's talk about Ace in the comments. Um, and again, like I said on my community page, you're not obligated to leave comments. It's totally okay. But I do appreciate them. The subs, um, the um, comments. Um, the watches um, I just do this for fun because I love k-pop and I love collecting so it's purely for me just to show off my collection show off the things that I spend way too much money on so <laughs> but I thank you for all your support anyway like and subscribe if you want to and I will talk to you soon bye